Welcome back to the program. It's John Pollock with you on the MMA Report. The UFC is back on Fox this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be headlined by female bantamweight action as Juliana Pena will be taking on the woman that joins us now on the phone. She is Valentina Shevchenko, who is in Denver and has spent her camp in Colorado. Uh, Valentina, how are you doing today? Just a few days out from this big fight. I'm feeling great, very concentrated and very motivation and uh, ready for the fight this Saturday and will give all my best to take the victory. Is fight week something that, that you enjoy where the attention to the fight, it ramps up significantly, you're doing a lot of media? Are, are you one of those fighters that just wants to get to the fight on Saturday night or can you uh, relax during fight week? Uh, it's both. It's like for... Some part of the day we are doing all this stuff like media. It takes a little bit energy, but uh, we have time on the afternoon to recover, to go to training and focus on the on preparation. So it's like uh, it's a job what professional fighters uh, used to do every time. And this is like uh, I feel very good and nothing can um, destroy me from my concentration. I saw another interview you did where you, you spoke about the fact that, that so many fighters, they will get caught up in all of the back and forth talk and all of that. You focus more on just the action on Saturday night, the actual fight. Do you think a lot of fighters, they kind of fall into that trap where you're suddenly you're so focused on promoting the fight and responding to different quotes and such that you lose focus on the actual fight that is happening that weekend? Uh, each fighter, it's uh, different. For example, uh, for me, it's my better way to um, be focused on the p- fight. For other fighters, for example, they can bo- do both things. For other ones, they are distracting for the fight. So I think it all depends on the person. When you made the decision to uh, come to Colorado for this uh, fight camp, uh, tell us just a bit about the experience and getting used to elevation, because many fighters have cited that it's something that they never think it's going to be as big a deal, and and sometimes it turns out to be. How long did it take you to get used to training uh, at this level in Colorado? Uh, For example, um, about the altitude, I can say that Every time I was feeling me very good on altitude because I was born in Kyrgyzstan. It's very high mountain country and I, all my, um, all, all my fights, all my trainings, I was spent in altitude. So, and uh, when we moved to Peru eight years ago, um, there is a lot of place, uh, places like, uh, Arequipa, Cusco, Puno. It's very high elevation too. So, and we are, was every time training there. So I never had, uh, any difficulties to training on altitude. And I really feel here like at home. How was it, uh, training over Christmas? Did you take any kind of a break for Christmas or was it training right through the holidays? It was training every time, but uh, on the night it was celebration. And what was the experience like at, at training at the uh, Grudge Training Center? A lot of notable fighters that train out of there. Rose Nama Yunus, of course, uh, Trevor Whitman, a very well-respected coach. Uh, what was that experience like uh, being with a, a different camp and, and training with them? It was very great experience and uh, to train in a 303 training center with Rose with Shannon, with JJ, with other boys, Joe. It was great, but every time I have my coach, Pavel Fidotov, he every time looking for um, my process of the training and he control my, all my uh, um, uh, conditions and he's every time looking for uh, to make me best fighter. Can you talk a bit about, uh, you know, the relationship between a fighter and a coach? It's something that it, sometimes it's very difficult to find that perfect chemistry. But you, you and working with Pavel throughout your entire career, was that a chemistry that was instant, Valentina? Was it something that evolved over time where the two of you just understood one another on that level? For sure. He know me like um, it's the same like my family knows me because I train in with him since I've been five years old. And uh, I'll know exactly how I feel. He just look at me and already know what I want or what uh, what else. But I have a lot of respect for him. That's why I understand that on the training every time, like uh, when he said something, I have to do it. 
it's not like um oh no i don't feel good that's why i i want uh, to do this exercise not exercise no it's uh, every time i even if i'm tired i know if he said it i have to uh, do it because on the fight it uh, will help me very much when you uh, reflect on the win you had over Holly Holm last July, that was a fight where it had a lot of attention. Again, it was a main event on Fox, on network television in the U.S. Did you find that you received a lot more attention after that win against Holly Holm? Uh, for sure. It was a great fight. It was a great opponent. And I did all my best to take the victory because I knew that I have everything to uh, to to take this victory and uh, of course a, each um fight success fight it makes you more like um um to receive more attention from every person it's a very great feeling but the uh, on the other side after for example some 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 days one week or a little bit more i understand that it was it's already has passed and uh, I have to start to focus on my new uh, obstacle, new fight. And this is what I start to focus on the next fight. Do you have a preference of a, a three-round fight versus a five-round fight? Because against Holly, you, you showed a lot of patience and Holly started to make some mistakes in that particular fight. Do you prefer having that longer period of time such as you do this Saturday night with Juliana? Yes, it will be five rounds, so it's like not it's not like a sprint; it's all marathon. So it's um, have I have to be in the great conditions. But if it will be like uh, if uh, I can finish by KO, by submission, or whatever, it will be great. But I have to be ready for all uh, time to don't for not receiving any surprises on the fight. Do you feel when you bring up conditioning, I think that's an element everyone is looking at this fight because of the fact that uh, Juliana has never fought a five round fight. She did not train in Colorado for this particular fight. Is that what you look at this Saturday night, that this could be a fight that very well could go into those championship rounds and conditioning may be one of the biggest factors of this fight? Yes, it's uh, many factors. Uh, but more it's uh, condition is one of these, but more I think it's my, uh, concentration and motivation for the fight. I, I consider it's like uh, the major, uh, major factor for winning this fight. How are you able to, to distance? I mean, this fight on Saturday, you have to have tunnel vision on the obstacle in front of you. Uh, but when you're seeing everybody talk about the winner of this fight, getting a championship fight, are you able to just keep that out of your, out of your mind at this moment, not overlook anything or, or what might be at stake in this fight and just focus on Juliana? Is there any difficulty in doing that, knowing what this fight represents? Uh, no, for me, it's not difficult, but, uh, because I, every time, um, it's by my nature. I every time focus on what I have in front of me and it's, uh, what will come after, it will come after, but more important being present. Of course, like make it present the best way you can and then focus on the future. Would you say you are a significantly, a moderately different fighter than the one of even a year ago as you were preparing for Amanda Nunez this time last year. How much different um, are, are you as a fighter and what you have uh, gained over the past year? I, um, I, this last, last year, uh, I've been focused more on the training, like exactly MMA, MMA style, and uh, take the best, uh, like, uh, from my Muay Thai background and put it on um, tactics of the fight, like strategy of the fight, exactly for MMA side. And of course, I'm very glad I, that I never stopped to grow up. And I feel like, for of course, uh, from one year ago, I'm now much better than I was. And it makes me very happy because I know I, I don't stop to uh, progress and I every time go forward. It's uh, it's very good. I think it's uh, more important for fighter.
And last thing, do you have any plans after the fight? Are you going to go on a vacation? Are you going to celebrate uh, Christmas a month later? Do you have any plans after the fight? Uh, for sure, I will have some uh, rest to recover all my energy. But at the same time, my oldest sister, she will defend her line fight Muay Thai world title in uh, uh, March 3. So um, I will have rest during Sunday, and I, then I will help her to in her preparation for her defense of the title fight. Well, I want to wish you all the best going into Saturday. Really looking for, forward to this fight, Valentina, and thank you so much for this time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.